How you doing, folks? We're here this morning in Brough, County Limerick, with a man by the name of Ian Gardner. Ian, unfortunately, has decided he's going to sell up. He's sick of the whole thing. Um, so we're here. We're going to preview the auction on behalf of Michael Doyle Auctioneers. The auction is actually on the 8th of March, so Wednesday evening. And, um, yeah, so let's give a look at what he has. We have a couple of things to give away as well. I have a couple of Malone hats and a Malone uh, travel mug or travel fa flask. So if you want to be in with a chance to get that, give a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And if you leave a comment on this, what we'll do is after the auction, the auction's the 8th, so the 9th, the 10th, Friday the 10th, I'll pick three names at random out of the comments, and um, I'll post them off. Just leave a comment, what's your favourite tractor, and maybe where you're from. And um, all right, let's give a look at the, the gear here. There's a couple of Fusions, a couple of Celtics, a couple of tractors, uh, spreaders, jewel spreaders, the whole lot. Um, so let's see what Ian has to offer us. Period. All right, guys, you can see it here. We have um, very three very, very fresh McHale Fusions. I was looking at them there a while ago. They're very, very well minded, very, very well maintained. Very, very well minded, very, very well maintained. Um, Ian was telling me there himself that I get, they get a full service every year. These bailers are actually ready to go. They're ready to go this minute, they're ready to go out and bail your silage, it'll be just hitch on and drive on. And of course the McHale Fusion is definitely the, the baler of choice in Ireland. Of course um, Mayo, a Mayo baler again, I have a couple of videos there done of the of the new McHale, the, the Fusion for 4. And here we have two Celtics, two Celtic bail chasers. In absolutely smashing condition again. Absolutely brilliant condition. Well minded service. I was looking at them there. I walked around them. There's some very fresh grease in them. They were well greased, well looked after. Um, the whole lot. You know, they're perfect. There's no bend, no strain. Like even if you look at the, the bars here. In a lot of them you'll see the bars are torn off the ground. Um, from when they drop the bales and they pull out. But no, these are not torn. They're absolutely not. They're just... They're perfect again, ready to go. I was looking at the hoses. The hoses are 100%. There's no cuts, no tears, no nothing. Um, the whole, they're absolutely perfect. Like, I love I love coming into the yard and seeing this. You know, the hoses hanging up. You'd know straight away then, like, that that's a well-minded trailer. I think, what's this one? This one is, does it say what year it is? I know it does someplace, but of course I can't see it now. I think one of them is 17. 2017 or 16 and one of them is 2019 here we have a coon 302 more trail more on the drawbars um brilliant more again okay she probably do with a bit of paint if you want to paint it but come here that's not nothing i give the hats a shake there underneath and everything absolutely perfect again and um it's just ready to go now there is no swatter on it but she has the attachment there for a swatter and so look, 10 foot more again, a Coon 302 more. Here, again now we have a McConnell hitch cutter. Uh, lovely hitch cutter. Um, I'm not too sure what number it is, or whatever it is, but look, it's a perfect, absolutely perfect. Well maintained again, well mined, look. Look, you can see this, look. Look at the grease. It was greased. It was greased every time, and it was well, well looked after. Absolutely beautiful machine there again. Um, two class rakes, 2700s, um, inline class, inline two, 30 foot rakes. Um, again, everything, like I said, everything is serviced and ready to rock and roll. Ready to rock and roll for the 8th of March. Wednesday night, the 8th of March, Michael Dial. Um, I leave all the, the information below in the comments, in the, in the description below. And log on to Michael Dial. Michael Dial is on Facebook as well. And, um, do you know what? He has a lot of auctions coming up in the near future. So get on to Michael Dial and maybe you might see what you want here. But maybe down the road you will. Here we have a Keenan Orbital 12 ton spreader. Again, absolutely perfect. Lovely spreader. Um, perfect spreader. Ready to rock and roll. Ian was telling me there this morning that full service. Never give any real trouble. Um, they, there was a couple of bearings went in it. And they done the bearings there last year. Um, beautiful, absolutely fantastic spreader again. Um, so, ready to rock and roll. Anyway, good tyres in it, the whole lot. Um, 
would never have had any real abuse or anything so she's there for you here we have an NC spreader um, an NC 11 cubic meters 10 ton spreader again beautiful spreader rear discharge spreader um, good tires in it I'm not too sure of the year let me see the year it is there in the description anyway if you want to if you want to look at it um, but she's all there I was looking there the chains and the floor the back door everything is everything is good lights and all and it are very good you know like when you walk into the yard like this you can actually see that the stuff was very 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 well maintained it was very little wear there on the chains anything you know like she's absolutely a fantastic spreader there again for someone um we have an nc uh, tanker i suppose she's what is she is she two two and a half thousand um tanker there she's with a dribble bar on the back of it absolutely side filled the whole lot nice pump she's a clean clean tanker again like do you know like she's mastec mastec.ie great irish company again absolutely fantastic fill it from the back fill it from the side you'll see it there the tires are small but down it but there's no cracks in them no absolutely nothing like that great spreader again um for someone that wants it making big money making very big money out of dealerships and everything so now might be your chance to to get one here at the auction on the 8th of march um slurry cat here again slurry cat she has the Oh, she has a rain gun. She has the pump on the drawbar. I don't know what the pump. She's a gardener. She's a what? G-R-D, uh, gardener pump. Um, this pump could be actually used for if you were pumping, you know, in high ground or something like that. And she has the the rain gun as well. Sorry, Cat, is she two and a half thousand? I presume she is. She looks very, very fresh. Absolutely, absolutely fantastically fresh tanker. And there's um there's stuff from the back of it here for our dribble bar system. Um I don't know, was it ever fitted? I presume it was and maybe taken off at some stage in the splash plate, the whole lot on the back of it. Um she could do with a mud guard alright there, but look, if that's all she needs, she's a fantastic machine again. And of course great savings to be had here. Everything must be sold at this auction. So here we have a uh, a breedle, B R E D L breedle, um, lime spreader, or it can also be used for um, spreading fertilizer. This is a serious machine again, like. Um, what was she, capacity? Would she take five ton? Well, she wouldn't, I suppose. She take three ton? I don't really know, to be honest. Um, but lovely spreader again. I walked around it there a while ago. Well maintained. Everything is greased. Everything is oiled. Um, everything is washed, everything was actually stored indoors, Ian was telling me up until a couple of days ago they pulled it out ready for the auction, ready for people to view it. Um, next in line we have the slurry pump, absolutely lovely slurry pump, we have a nice bit of slurry gear here now as well. Um, she's, a, she's a Doda pump, D-O-D-A, Doda pump, um, brilliant little slurry pump again, I see the vacuum pump the whole out there for drawing up the slurry. Um, the Doda, yeah, I didn't realise Doda was made in Italy, but yeah, the Doda pump, absolutely fantastic. Here we have, again, next in line we have a Slurry Cat, is a Slurry Cat? It is a Slurry Cat dribble bar. Um, what she, is she, she 10 metre? 10 metre dribble bar. Slurry Cat, we have hoses the whole lot. And I can tell you one thing, you know, folks, that hose, and you know it if you're watching this, that is expensive hose. Um... How much a meter it is, I'm not too sure, but I know for a fact it is rather, rather expensive. Um, next in line, we have the front reeler slurry cat. Um, again, there's two, four, there's six, there eight, six or eight hundred meters of hose in that. I think there might be two hundred, there might be a hundred in each one. So, one, two, three, and there's another one, two below. Serious amount of hose there, guys. Serious opportunities there for someone to maybe purchase. Um, up along here we have the class front mower, a green, green, uh, 3200 FC Disco, she's a brilliant, lovely clean mower, I was looking at the front of it there a while ago, she is absolutely spotless, this mower has, she has a bit of work done, she doesn't really, but like, she has work done, but nothing, nothing, she, this is as good as new mower, like, absolutely beautiful mower again, um, 
credit in there and the family and it's you can see it there clear clear well minded um again tr a side or a uh, side mountain more i was going to say uh back more class again a 320 disco um lovely more again a uh, small tear there on the curtain nothing absolutely major at all but i was looking under the bed while ago all serviced all gone through again absolutely beautiful for the the price that it's in it we have a coon set of discs I was look this is a serious set of discs with a crumbler roller on the back of it. This is this means business. You know, with the weight of it there it means business. This would be a serious yoke for breaking up maybe your soil or whatever the stuff that you haven't maybe real thick, heavy, cloggy soil. This would be the, the stuff and you can see there between the discs as a thing for cleaning them off and the whole lot. It's a serious little more or some more disker. Um, also have a 10 foot silage pike, um, aim and power written in it, I don't know whether aim and power made it or not, I couldn't see any really make on it, but 10 foot silage pike, um, nice prongs in it, nice straight prongs, the whole lot, absolutely lovely little pike, um, maybe for the, the contractor, very possible, or maybe for someone just, maybe for the farmer, I think she's got the, is that the Euro hitch, you know what, I'm not exactly too sure, I'm not too well up in the hitches and stuff. And um, also then we have a lovely, um, what is she, four foot, four and a half foot, five foot um, cider grab. Again, painted black, again, well greased, well minded and well looked after. Um, we're going to walk across the yard here now. There's a bit of a branch stuck on my leg. Um, we have the Rabe Paul Harrow with a crumbler roller on the back of it. Absolutely, again, brilliant, again, fierce, well minded. Fierce well looked after. You can see it there, like it's like everything else in the yard. You can see the grease on it, and it's it's is very well minded. And with the APV sealer up in the back of it, again, lovely machine, well minded, well looked after. And we have the fertilizer spreader. Is she a, a sulky fertilizer spreader? Again, perfect, absolutely brilliant. Fierce well minded, fierce well looked after machine again. Alright guys, we swing around here and we have a couple of tractors. Um, actually, Ian was telling me one or two of these tractors, he actually got them fully valeted for, to, for the auction and for the viewing. Um, this one has actually been valeted today. Um, so this is a New Holland TS125A. Um, she's again, lovely tractor, absolutely lovely. She's back there when I came in, there's no sup of oil, there's nothing under it. This is a bulletproof tractor. This is an ideal tractor. Ian told me that he actually had this tractor on a rake. This tractor was on a rake. She's 05. Um, she was on a rake there with him for the last couple of years. And do you know what? Brilliant. She's a lovely tractor. Lovely clean tractor inside it. Um, the seat is good. Everything is good. The passenger seat. The whole lot. The tyres are okay in the front. are down a bit. The tyres in the back are maybe two, what 75%. Brilliant tractor again, TS125A. Um, next on the line we have the Bobcat. She's a TL38.7 HF, whatever that means. Um, she's again, lovely machine, absolutely fantastic machine. A uh, set of forks in the front of it. Um, lovely machine for loading bales. Fierce tidy machine altogether, bought from Adair Machinery Limerick. Um, lovely machine for loading bales. I presume, I'm only presuming this now, but I presume she has four wheel steer. There is a three-year warranty on these machines, so she's 2021. So I presume if you buy this, um, it's probably still within warranty. Now maybe that's something you want to look into yourself. But um, she's 2021, so yeah, she'd be still in warranty. I'm nearly absolutely certain there's a, a three-year warranty with with these machines. So if you buy this machine, she is going to be still in warranty for you. Bobcat again, of course, beautiful machine. Okay, we swing around here, another one, the first of the Fergusons. Um, Ferguson, 7722, um, fine block of weights in the front of it. Um, good tires all around. She's the, I think she, this one has the Vario transmission. I'm not a thousand percent certain, but I think she has the Vario transmission. Um, again, great tires all around. Um, fantastic tractor. I think she's coming in about 225 horsepower. And she, oh yeah, she has the, the ball hitch. The other special coupling, if you know what that is. I'm actually looked to see they on the balers. I never looked to see what they're on. 
So that in the Celtic, so she might be on a bit of 172 this tractor. Um, you can see the tyres, look at the tyres. The tyres are absolutely beautiful on it, absolutely perfect. Um, dog, spotless tractor, there isn't a mark in it. Like you always, you'd see the mudguards torn, you'd see the, the plastics there or something like that around the torn or whatever. Front linkage and all, you know, absolutely smashing tractor and absolutely smashing tractor altogether. Um, next in the line we have a 18277 18 Massey again. Um, front linkage the whole lot. Um, good tyres again. I think she got the Vario, Vario transmission as well. Um, beautiful tractor. Absolutely. I think this is coming in at um, something like about 200 horsepower. Now I could be could be slightly wrong on my horsepower so maybe that's something you want to look into yourself. But again, just a fantastic tractor. Look at the back end of it there. Like, it's well minded. It never got belted, never got hit, never got abused. This is a, a tractor maybe for yourself. Look there, no dings on the mud guard, no steps. Look at the steps. That's the one thing I always look at. Steps. Ste the steps are always bent, buckled and abused and bit to death off most of these yokes. But no fierce well minded tractor again absolutely beautiful tractor absolutely beautiful tractor now to me this is the tractor of the sale i absolutely love these case puma 160 a smashing tractor okay the tires in the front are down a bit but not bad not bad at all look at that don't mind that that's only from from rust and from wear and tear but look at the bottom step Absolutely perfect, never stuck in anything, never got hit off any ditches or anything. Back tires are about 30%. Look at the lift arms, absolutely perfect. No paint, worn off them, no nothing. You know, beautiful tractor, well minded. And you know what, the back of the tr these tractors, you'd usually see a flood of oil down there out of the spools and out of all that. No, absolutely no, bone dry, no oil leaking, dropping down off them. Jeez. A 142, she's all the lights in the cab, double set of beacons. Okay, there is a crack here in the mud guard, but come here. If that's all you can find wrong with it, that's absolutely perfect. I've no issue with you finding that wrong with it at all at all. So Case Puma 160. Fantastic looking tractor again, absolutely lovely tractor. Now the last of the tractors here, we have um a T6 180. Absolutely, again, it's just these are a fantastic tractor. Again, do you know for the for the horsepower that this is 180 horsepower, it's they're a fierce, tidy tractor, they're a lovely tractor. Look at that again, like no hits, no marks, no nothing. Good tires, very good tires. Tires are well over 70% on this tractor. Um, just a beautiful tractor, absolutely fantastic tractor. No eye leaks, no nothing. Absolutely again look just perfect. So we'll give a walk around that. Oh we have the, the crook and we have the drawbar on that. And she's a 191. Like that, if you want to be with a chance to get those two hats from Malone Farm Machinery and maybe the Travel Cup, um leave a comment there below, give a like, leave a comment, and after the auction, the auction is on the 8th of March, and after the auction I will I will pick three winners and I'll post it out to you. We'll, I'll get in touch with you. We'll just, I'll comment back on your comments. So keep an eye in, on your comments, maybe the 8th, the 9th, the 10th. Sometimes we'll do it around the 10th, we'll be heading towards the weekend. And uh, we'll do that. So give it a like, leave a comment on the thing. Let's say where, where you're from and what's your favourite tractor. Or if you had the money, what would you buy out of this lot? Um, <clears throat> And we have the Slurry Cat Splash Plate. Um, beautiful. I've ever, only ever seen one of these working. Um, absolutely lovely machine if you had very wet ground or maybe any ground. And she just fold it out, pump it. The same as the, same as the card system. Fold it up onto your three point linkage. Small tractor would pull this um, once you had the wide wheels on it for travelling the ground. And uh, away you go. Now we'll put up the drone and we'll give a look at it and you can see the stuff there and you can see the tractors and you can see everything. We have the, the two Masseys, we have the two the two New Hollands, we have the, the Case Puma there, um, we have the Bobcat, 
We have the two class rakes, we have the Keenan, we have the NC dual spreader, we call it, out rear discharge. We have the NC tanker. We have that absolute animal of a, a big slurry cat, two and a half thousand gallon tanker down the back. And I said, we have the Keenan, we have the, the McConnell head cutter. Um, the McConnell head cutter, again, lovely, lovely machine. Not overly big. Not overly big by any stretch of the imagination. Now there is a bit of an extension on it. What it reaches to, I'm not exactly too sure. But I think it's a PA six five seven O T, whatever that is, a McConnell. And um, then we have the the Coon Moors again, just a rehash on them. They're perfect. The lights in the back of them, they're all there. They're all working. There's actually fierce good tires on it. And then we have the the two Celtics. I love the Celtics. The Celtics are. An absolute dream of a yoke to to move silage. Uh, these like I know I've told this story before um, on YouTube and a couple of other places, but we done a job one time with a fella and he two Celtics and two fusions drawn, and we were able to draw four loads in the hour. And the man in the yard had a Manitou load and shovel or a Manitou teleporter about the same size as the Bobcat that's there, and he could not keep the yard clear. We were actually he couldn't he couldn't keep the air clear. That's how fast we were drawing them. These are a beautiful machine, and anyone in doubt um, are having their doubts that they're not and they don't do what they say in the tin. These yokes are a serious yoke to move grass. You fill three bales on one side and three on the other side, or two and three. You can't load one side first. All right, that's that's not a big issue. Like, but um, these are a serious yoke, even on a long draw. Like, I bet you if you had them Celtics on a long draw. Um, we'll say compared to a 14 bale trail or something like that and the Celtic is in and out of the field and in and out of the yard a way faster a way faster but I, I, I'd love to know if anyone ever done it and compared um, the Celtics on a long draw to um, to we'll say a 14 or an 18 bale trailer and how many more the Celtic would draw in the day or would draw the same amount because the Celtic okay so it's current 10 but it's it's faster. It's an awful lot faster. And of course, then also we have the um, the three McHale Fusion three pluses. Again, beautiful balers. Absolutely fantastic. Fierce, well minded. Fierce, well looked after. Um, there for the there for the taking, and um, they're ready to go at grass. Ian was telling me absolutely ready to go at grass tomorrow morning. Um, so it was hitting on over for the eighth of March. So it will not be long before um, we'll have silage and there'll be silage up and there'll be the whole lot and we'll have to get in our, our, our ducks in a row and away we go. So look, um, I'd like to say thanks and I wish to Ian the very best in his future endeavours and um, he, I think he's telling me he's going abroad. So Ian, very, very best of luck to you. Um, I suppose Ian was telling me the biggest thing is he's at this 12 years He's kind of burnt out from it, finding it hard to get staff. And um, there's, it's not finding it hard to get staff, it's just that the people aren't there. The people aren't there, this was everyone in Ireland had to go to college. So the, the people with, they can drive these tractors are no longer there or just don't want to drive them. So that's it, give a like, give a subscribe. If you want to be in with a chance to win those two hats from Malone and the Travel Cup from Malone, um, leave a comment and after the 8th of... March, I will, um, I'll pick three, I'll just pick three random names. Don't know who, but I'll pick three random names and, um, that'll be it. Okay, guys, um, that's it for myself. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and, um, sure look, best, like I said, best of luck to Ian and, um, we'll see you all in the next one. Well, great. It's a video.